All right, with recent earthquakes uh, felt some places in the Midwest, ham radio operators are trying to make sure that they are ready to keep you informed and safe. KNBC 9's Brenda Washington joining us local and live from Prairie Village to show us how. Hi, Brenda. Good morning, guys. We're here at the home of Chet Hallberg, who is one of about 260,000 plus ham radio operators here in the country and about 1,000 here in the metro area alone. Now, these are the folks we depend on when our phones and communication systems are knocked out by disasters like earthquakes. Now, as you know, last month there was a 5.2 earthquake on the north side of the New Madrid Fault. It was felt all the way here in the Kansas City area. Monday, the ground shook again this time in the St. Louis area. And Chet, want to interrupt you here. I know you've been talking with some of your uh, buddies there. You told me that in response to these earthquakes that we're suddenly having here in the Midwest that the ham radio operators are organizing a new Madrid earthquake communications exercise for October. Briefly, what will you guys be doing and why? Well, when we do have the new Madrid earthquake, and I guess it's not a matter of when, but if when, when we have it, not a matter if we have it, their communications in the Kansas City area will become very critical because presumably Columbia on the east will be a lack of communications. So the hams are organized. We do have networks. We have frequencies set up, and this will happen, and we will provide emergency communications to provide to people that need to know how to get in touch with and who's available and what's working and what's not working. So you guys are just practicing with each other, just kind of organizing. <clears throat> this will be a drill in October and we will have a tabletop, and then we'll have an actual simulation of communications. Now, you told me that, uh, briefly, Casey is going to be playing, if we have the big one, a very critical <coughs> role that you mentioned that we might be taking care of, like, the western side of the state or something to that effect? Oh, absolutely. Hopefully, the western side of the state will not be as affected as the St. Louis area. So we presume that the Mississippi River and the St. Louis area will be affected, and the Kansas City area should still be intact to provide communication. Okay, but if the communications are knocked out, Chet and those guys will be at their ham radios helping us to uh, help other people who will need it. And if we're going to go out to his driveway a little bit later on, he's got an, a mobile system that we're going to be looking at in the 8 o'clock hour. Back to you guys. Interesting. Another line of defense. All right, Brenda Washington. Well, have you ever wondered, uh, would someone contact you if the phones and the communication systems were knocked out by an earthquake or some other disaster? KBC 9's Brenda Washington is live and local from Prairie Village with an answer to that question with a ham radio operator. Brenda. Good morning, guys. I know, Jim, you are a gadget guy. You would love this truck. <laughs> now, we're here uh, with Chet Hallberg. Look at this truck, Jim. It is something wow. to behold. It has every kind of gadget you could think. Look now, you that. know, we were inside Chuck's home uh, in the 7 o'clock hour. We were talking about earthquakes. He has a ham radio system in his home. Outside now, we're in his truck. This is one of 12 trucks specially outfitted with ham radios, which is operated for the American Red Cross. Chet has been a uh, a volunteer with the Red Cross for about 20 years and a ham for 50 years. Now, Chet, I know you're chatting there with some of your buddies. What is this truck, one of 12 in the country that you're lucky enough to have here in the Kansas City area? What's it used for? This one's stationed here in Kansas City in response to national disasters. The last disaster this truck was on was last month down in Batesville, Arkansas, for a flood. So it's deployed out of Washington, D.C., and will respond to nationwide disasters. Briefly, what do you got in here? We've got 14 radios, 17 antennas. Amateur radio was very instrumental in the design of this truck. It was designed by hams, and we have amateur radio, three HF transceivers, and several VHF, UHF transceivers. Now, with all that communications, in case we should le uh, lose communications because of a disaster, earthquake, severe weather, speaking of severe weather, you know, we've been having a lot of that lately. What role do hams play when it comes to earthquakes and severe weather? They will do the long-range communications as necessary in the existing networks. We have an active group called Skywarn that does the storm spotting and supports the national weather system. Okay, great. Okay, again, Jim, look at this truck. Oh. Loving it, loving it. Uh. I'm sure. <laughs> I could see you and your little boys tooling around town in a truck like this. Wouldn't they? Yeah, the boys would be in the back and I'd be behind the wheel. That is just amazing. I, you know, Ham has become so up to date. That's right. And, Jim, in case you want to know more about ham radio operations yeah. or become one yourself, you can go to our website, KNBC.com, click on News Links, and you can be behind the wheel, Jim, anytime. Okay. Back Maybe Dion will do that, too. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Meteorologist Lisa Teachman was saying that her mother and father mm -hmm. growing up would have ham radios, but surely not as elaborate as the one that's in that truck. That is something.